Hey everyone, George Edmondson with Seed Digital Media coming at you with another tutorial. This one's gonna be a little bit more in depth from the other few videos that I've done. But um, as you know, if you're a Final Cut Pro X user, uh, they just introduced in Final Cut X 10.2 the 3D text option, which is so much fun, it's so cool. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D logo using the 3D text option and you can apply any of the filters and animations that the 3D text option offers. Um, all you need is the original vector file format for the logo. So here we're gonna be using a .eps file format but any vector should work fine if you have a .ai or eps or whatever your designer or whatever you have used to create. Um, we're going to be in iDraw just because I love that application and it's super cheap and it's incredible. It's awesome. So go look for it if you don't have it. So um, on the App Store. So anyway, um, all right, even though we're at the beginning of the video, we're actually in the middle of the tutorial because I forgot to mention you need the Glyphs app. G-L-Y-P-H-S. I will show you the logo for Glyphs app. There's a 30 day free trial. I highly suggest purchasing it, but the 30 day trial is completely functional. It does everything you need. So you can get in there and create what you need to create using the process I'm showing you. And then um, after that, go buy it because I'm gonna use it all the time. We're gonna take a logo like this and turn it into a logo like this. That's right. You see it spinning there in my hand? because I put it there. I made it do that. Here we go. All right, so here we are in iDraw. This is my logo. So what I want to have happen is I want this center part of my logo to become 3D and spin, and I wanna keep all of the rest of my logo to stay in place. So here we have the .eps in iDraw. We're going to open this up. Now, if you'll notice, there is um, a group. We don't want any groups. We want everything to be ungrouped. So if you have anything that is grouped together, go on and ungroup it. So let's look through here. There's another one. Let's just open that bad boy up. We want everything ungrouped. So again, if you open your vector and you see anything grouped together, ungroup it. The next thing we want to take out is any shapes like this that would hinder us from getting any of the uh, nodes. That's going to that's gonna be a node that we don't want. We want everything to be completely transparent, okay? So as you can see, now that I've, I drag over and I get all of these nodes Everything is highlighted except for those shapes that would have, uh, they would have caused an issue. So what we wanna do is copy the nodes. That's gonna be control C. Nodes are now copied. However, you know what? I don't need these nodes, do I? I don't need the nodes. I just want to animate and make 3D the center part. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm going and doing is deleting all of the portions that I don't want 3D, but of course you can copy all of the nodes that you want. Oh, here we go, there we go. Let's just get rid of all these guys. So the only nodes that I copy this part of my logo and that's what I want. So let's try this again. Copy all these guys. Command C to copy. Now we're gonna go in an application called Glyphs app. You can see right here G-L-Y-P-H. They have a 30-day free trial and it's fully functional. So what we went in here to Glyphs app, just go look for it if you don't have it, but we created a new, we're creating a new font, okay? And this is how we get our logo into the 3D text option in Final Cut Pro X. 
We're just going to apply this font to the letter capital A. Go ahead and double click. Command V to paste. So you now see we have this logo. We have all these nodes are copied and pasted into the Glyphs app and it is applied to the letter capital A. Something that you need to know, and I'm I'm just figured this out, I'm brand new to it, but basically just do what I tell you to, and I'm not gonna use any technical terms because I do not know the technical terms. This area right here needs to be zero, okay? And what that does is it brings everything in where you're not gonna have a bunch of dead open space within your, your letter which the capital A is going to create this part of my logo. All right, something else that you go and do is you come up to your options under paths. You're going to correct path direction. Then you're going to click tidy up paths. So I want you to notice these red dots basically means that there is an issue and we want to we want to correct that so glyphs app just go to tidy up paths and you're going to see those those disappear there's still two so let's go ahead and click it again until they're all gone great if you hold the space bar down you now see what your font looks like so come back over here you can now see that when I'm in this font which right now is just called new font I'll show you how to title it in a second when we go into this font and I click capital A that symbol is going to be pulled up okay if you want to name your font it's just in file new info I've already done this font but we're just going to title it seed test font All right, we are going to export this font now. This is the only one that I'm showing you how to do out of the Glyphs app. So go to File and Export. And we're gonna save this as an OTF, that's a font file. Next, it's gonna save it straight to the desktop. There we go, the font is available. Let me show you, there it is right there. So let's go out of all of this we're not gonna save it I already have all this saved anyway but just to show you we're going to op open this OTF in a font book because we need to get it in there as a font install font it's doing its thing there we go, seed test font. And you'll see as I scroll down, there you go. When I choose this font, this logo is going to come up. So it is now installed, which means I can open Final Cut Pro X and it is gonna be in there as an option and we can do our thing. So let's go in there now. All right, so we are now in Final Cut Pro X and this is the way that you now can animate yourself a logo. So why don't we bring in, um, let's just bring in all for now. Let's do that because I want to show you how it looks. So we're just going to bring in a basic title. We're also going to bring in a background so you can see what in the world is going on back there. So let's just make it something nice and pretty like a nice iMovie green. How's that? All right, so we're in our basic title. Obviously, you want to go in here and find your newly created font. All right, so something that you'll notice that Final Cut X does is it uses the, the font to show you what it looks like. So 
obviously I only applied to my font the letter A. So, but it's titled Seed, right? So, there it is. That's it. But of course, I should have titled it something. I should have applied the S, E, E, and D um, so that we could see that it says Seed. So, that's my fault. You can obviously do that. Just apply, um, apply those letters so that it's going to pull up. Either way, this still works wonderfully. There's the Seed logo. When I type a capital A, you see that this is going to pop up. Now it's going to be really, really small, okay? You have to go in over here to your size and just boost that bad boy up where you need it. Now remember, it came out of a vector, so you can increase the size tremendously, and it's still going to look beautiful because font files can do that. Let's drag this guy down. All right, so there we go. There's there's that part of my logo. Obviously, it looks completely normal right now. It is not 3D. All you have to do is click the 3D text option, and you are now operating with a 3D logo, and I'm going to show you how that is right here. Check that out. Self-lit, any options that you want to apply as a 3D, you got it. You got your self-shadows if you want to turn them on. Your lighting style, you have all of these options now if you want to backlight it. There you go. Anything that you can imagine that you want your 3D logo to do. Now, I will say this, that the colors are not going to be applied. So if you have a logo that has a color, it's not going to happen. That's okay, though. All you have to do is open your color board, and you can recolor that bad boy however you want it. I did, um, I did a, a one that I'm going to show you here in a second. I'll show you a few examples of ones that I've done. But um, you can use uh, keyframes and shape masks, and you can have different different colors applied. So, um, so there you go. So why don't we do this? Let's go in here to our text options, and why don't we create something a little bit more animated and cinematic? Let's do the rotate. Now again, by Motion 5, I'll do a Motion 5 tutorial where you can customize your animations a little bit better. But you've got your Rotate 3D here. So we're just going to go in here and do that with my new logo. So I've just brought in the Rotate 3D option that is built in to Final Cut X. And I've applied that to my logo. So you can now see my logo has that pre-built animation. So there you have it. Basically what you're doing is you're copying all the nodes out of that vector file. You are creating a font. You're creating an OTF using glyphs. Apply that, go in through font book, apply that font, go into your 3D text options. You can now create a 3D logo. Um, let me show you a few examples of a few of the things that I've done using this exact concept. I'll try to go more in depth with it. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to contact me uh, through YouTube or just um, you can find me on Facebook, Seed Digital Media. That's a really great way to contact me. Uh, find me on Instagram at Seed Digital Media. Um, 
those are the best ways, but let me just skim through a few of these really quickly so that you can see some of the awesome options that you have that I've already used and customers love it. So a new MacBreak Studio uh, video was just released kind of talking about this concept, which is really, really cool. I'm I, This is something that I've been doing for about a month now, um, but they, they also go in depth uh, a little bit about motion and how you can do this in motion as well. What I have shown you how to do is actually create the font, create your logo that you can put in there. So be sure to go check them out because they have some really good ideas and pointers on this exact same concept within Motion 5. Um, and again, I'll do, I'll do some more tutorials about this as I unwrap more and learn more. I'm teaching myself as I go. I watch just as many tutorial videos, if not more than you, I promise you. Sorry if it was a little bit long. I talk a lot. There you go.